Namaste and welcome back to Hindi CK with Meghna. In the last class, we have done half of the consonants. We shall continue forward. I hope you have just revised what we have done. You need to know your pronunciations absolutely correctly. Let's start with where we stopped. We stopped at the retroflex consonants. Now we go ahead to the dental consonants. Just to make you aware that the last two consonants were the retroflex consonants and the dental consonants are very similar. You just need to master the pronunciation by just listening correctly again and again and practicing it. So, just one more time we'll brush this. Retroflex consonants are when your tongue bangs on a pallet like, like a drum. Now, the next one is the dental consonants when your tongue is behind the front teeth like th. So let me say for you the dental consonants and these sounds are not there in English alphabets. So this one is th, this one is th, the loud sound th, 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 the, th, n. This is the plain n, this sound is there in the English alphabetic chart. N from the word net, n from net. We go ahead to the labial consonants. Now labial consonants involves the lip movements. Now this full line, this full row is going to involve your lip movements. One again the soft sound, one again the loud sound. Now this one is P, P, P from Papa, P. This one is the loud sound, the aspirated sound of P is P, P. This, the next one is B. The B from bat. The B from bat. The next one is the loud sound or the aspirated version of B is B. The last one you find it in English chart is called M, M, mat. The M from mat. The last two are the most easiest are found in English alphabetic chart are called semi vowels and this is Y, R, L, V. Now, Y is absolutely Y. You say Y for Y. Uh, the Y of English is the Y of the, uh, the semi vowel, Y. The R is the English uh, alphabet R. The L is the English alphabet L. Now, V is between V and W. The next uh, column is a sibilance. Now the word, this one is sh. If you see the word sheep, the sh from the sheep is sh, the first sibilant. The next one is a louder sound is sh. But this is hardly used and it is almost similar to the retroflex consonant. The next one is s, which is absolutely like the English consonant s. The sing. If you take the word sing, the s from the sing. The last consonant for the day and for the full chart to get over is h. That is if you have the word hand, the h from the hand. Yummy! We've finished all the consonants. And you will master this by saying it again and again, again and again and then you will be a pro in it. Let's start just once again. Let's revise it. K Kh, g, g, ch, ch, j, j, t, th, d, dh, an, t, th, d, dh, n, p, p, b, bh, m, y, r, l, V, sh, sh, s, h. That's it. It was easy, isn't it? We are through with the vowels and the consonants. These all are the plain sounds, and you master it by saying it again and again. Oh, and what's a class without homework? All what you need to do is repeat the velar consonants, palatal consonants, retroflex consonants, dental consonants, labial consonants, semi vowels, and sibilants. Again and again till you do it perfectly. And 
Practice makes a man perfect. Yes. So you do it. I know it. Ta-da.